Today's topic is running for weight loss, and here's what's good. Is it on right now? When I was first trying to lose weight growing up, everyone told me the same thing. Go for a run. And they meant like Forrest Gump style, go for a long, slow, steady slog. Fuck those people. Look, running can be amazing. It can be meditative and restorative. Anybody can do it. That's all fine and dandy. But I think most people, especially me, hate running and hate every soul-sucking moment of it. If you get to the gym or you go for that first run and you start associating fitness with agony and weight loss with suffering, you're just not gonna stick to it. The whole point is that you gotta find what's good for you, something that you actually enjoy doing so you'll keep doing it long-term. Look, running is frankly a pretty crappy way to lose weight. And actually, exercise in general might be a crappy way to lose weight, at least compared to eating well and eating less. Study after study says that people who do long steady state cardio overestimate how many calories they burned, especially if you trust what the machine tells you, and tend to overeat because of it. They're just better alternatives to running. Weight training, interval training, science says they can help and impact weight loss meaningfully more. And running also has other physical downsides. It puts a lot of stress on the body. Try to name a runner that you know that hasn't been injured. It's hard. 79% of runners are injured at least once a year. Look, exercise is amazing and running is amazing. Both of those are probably as close as you can get to a miracle pill for just about every other type of health. But for weight loss, it's not so simple. If you hate running, don't run. There are lots of better ways to lose weight.